Now, I don't know how intellectually honest you are, but we're selling bombs to Israel. We're giving weapons to Palestine. We're building docks to give supplies to Palestine. We are not giving weapons to Palestine, you we're liar. Bu we're building docks to give them food. Is that correct? No, there is no dock. That, uh, there's no dock being built. It was destroyed. Right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody's talking about it. Dock. Did the United States military make a dock in Palestine? Yes or no? Is that dog? No, dude. No, hold on, hold on. What? Alex and Thomas can't answer at the you're same time. Let's let Thomas in. You're bald, you're stupid, you're gay, you're so annoying to the base because you know <laughs> what you built. Let it out. Know. Let, let it out, Kurt. Let it out. And you sit there and you lie because you're me. fat, you're stupid, and let you're retarded, and you're not worth my time because when I come to debate and you know yeah. that they oh. built a dog, oh, you know it, but you're still trying to say, oh, we didn't build a dog. You're a fat, dumb ass. Loser, and you really yeah, typical Trump time. supporter hold level on. of intelligence right there. Well, I'll quickly answer. Hold on, hold on. I was just <laughs> say, <laughs> Alex, not that that wasn't uh, uh, you know breaking YouTube uh, entirely. I don't know if it did or not, but uh, are you doing all right? E everything I'm okay? I'm fine. Okay. I, mean, I don't think it's terms of service to call somebody a uh, fat bald idiot. No, listen, no, I just mean a spicy that. one. You know, we we might just uh, well, we might just make a short out of that and break Thomas, the internet. Thomas doesn't seem like a bad guy, but he knows that he built a dog. He knows America Ever? built that yes, dog. America yes, built it was that. never used once, no. not <laughs> once. This is why I'm spurging out because he, you guys can't even admit that they built a dock and you know that he built a dock. All right, we're going to give Thomas the floor. Thomas, you it's got just the floor. annoying. I mean, you Has Space Force killed any aliens? You guys are space too force retarded, both of you guys are so dumb. I all mean, right. it's not even worth my time being I'll here. tell you all what, right, I'll right, put up right, ten thousand dollars right now, and you and I can go over to Mensa's website and take the IQ challenge, and I'll give you fifty right. fucking okay, points all right. and see who wins you. Oh, this man. Your bank account in Thailand, what living for five dollars a month. The reason you're in Thailand is because you can't afford to live here. Thomas. Oh, all right, all right, all right. We're all well, on you, Alex. Please, Alex, you're gonna wheel us in. I'm counting on you, buddy. PWF. Thank you so much. I just want to answer this question, but okay, we can move on. Well, no, I can talk about why the economy is good because we're funding both sides. We're spending military equipment and funds on both sides. We're giving some to Palestine, believe it or not, by building a dock and trying to give them supplies. That is taking military equipment that we can charge our own selves. So it looks like our economy is doing well because, yeah, we're using contractors. And when the military is doing well, our economy on paper looks like it's doing well, but it's false. That's not what's going on. Car dealerships are doing terrible. Uh, uh, barber shops are going out of business. Mom and pop restaurants are failing tgi fridays just closed 50 restaurants olive garden i believe closed 100 restaurants chilies so all the main chain restaurants sure. in america and let me just finish that that these popular chain restaurants are all closing malls in america if you guys have ever been in america the culture of going to malls is dying because everything's going online so small businesses are dying right now and they're getting killed by amazon they're getting killed by the online shopping so our economy is not doing well there's not as many businesses but on paper it looks well because we have have the military industrial complex pumping all of it up looking like we have a bunch of money when right. okay let, let me quickly dispute that why are real wages now higher than inflation why are real wages higher than they've ever been because they're probably all the military contracts and the military no, real wages looks at all real wages looks at all the jobs and they compare them to the rate of inflation they look at hey in the last year this person made five percent more money inflation was whatever percent right is it higher or lower? So this looks at every type of job. It's not does not focus on uh, military jobs. Well, I don't so even believe that stat. So you're saying I real wages? I don't believe the stat that whatever stat you're going to give me, I think it's fake. Where right? was it for I don't the premium? Makes these stats. You know what the stat is, and you already think it's fake. Yeah, because they can lie in stats. You build guys. I, I know. I know. We're how to lie with numbers? Like but see, this is not. the thing: is okay. you probably Hold trust the media. You probably trust these schools. I don't trust them. I don't have a trust for these institutions. I would trust. I would trust. A, a yeah, a study, or I would. I would well, you would oh, so that. all studies are right, and colleges, all college studies that, are right. But I would yeah. generally trust the study over your yeah. personal anecdotal experience. Okay, just just if you okay, can, see that's the difference between on. you and me is I trust my own experience, and I don't just trust some uh, study that they can cook okay, the book. So okay, your so. your your perception, of the American economy is doing worse than ever, just based on your personal experiences, right? Correct. Yes. The okay. Price okay. Of house, <laughs> the price there of the house go. is the most expensive it's ever been. Yes, so it's that's all a lie. What do you okay. mean? When are houses? When have houses been more expensive than they are now? 
So yeah, if you guys want to listen to someone's personal experiences, then I guess you can assume the economy is worse than ever. If I want to actually look at facts and statistics and what economists say, then it's uh, the economy is doing pretty good. There are some areas that are not that good, but overall the economy has recovered faster in America than it has in any other uh, first world country post pandemic. That's just a no, fact. I don't believe that. I don't. Well, of course you don't, because you prefer to listen to whatever the fuck the voices in your head tell you. <laughs>